Hello, everybody, and welcome to Quinn Company. Um, I, I could try to read the title of the first mission. I'm assuming this is going to be a series. The second one hasn't come out yet, but uh, I'd probably butcher it. I know it says the bank something of Benvalente, maybe? I probably got that completely wrong. But anyways, let, let's read what the introduction has to say, shall we? It's the week of the summer of solstice. A time for celebration and hedonism, perpetuated fiercely enough to disregard the responsibility and caution of an entire city. Some bestow connotations of piety on the event, but they're a minority, and the population at large treats it as an opportunity to regress to an age lacking the stresses of the city life. Rowdy drunkards fill the taverns and spill out into the streets by the dozens, while the rich invite their extended families to the city for a feast. All non-essential work within the city is called off for the week, and even the unlucky few who keep the lights on will end up drunk on the job. The city thrives throughout the event all the same. The workforce pays their year's wage back in exchange for ale by the barrel. Ships make port and sell wares from all over, and the city then sells them to the drunkard populace for twice the price it paid. Those ships are what make the event interesting for those in my profession. While most bring exotic food and drink, others cater to the richer folk in the city. These types bring gold, gems, spices, foreign works of art, anything they feel the rumors of Bridgeport's wealth can live up to. Leaving those valuables aboard a ship in a public port would be commercial suicide. So, instead, they check their goods in with the local banks, who in turn take a cut for providing invaluable protection. The banks make a fortune off the flotilla bobbing in the river, providing its goods remain untouched. Should the goods go missing, the bank is named and shamed and left in the dust of the competition. Naturally, there's more than a pretty penny in it for anyone with the stones to mess with the, these establishments. These merchants aren't dealing in loose change. This is the year of my renaissance in the thievery trade. I was a household name in my time. There are simply too many easy targets in the city for me to spend the week blind drunk. Banks have been springing up out of the ground in the recent months in preparation for the festival. I'm not foolish enough to consider the long-standing veterans of the city, but these newer vaults are untried and still hold foreign fortunes all the same. My first target is a fledgling run by one Elizabeth Wren, a vain, clueless daughter of a well-off baron. Her daddy bought her the place as a kind of hobby, had it built with a little concern for its success or her lack of expertise. She hired sellswords as security details and treats her office like a slave pit. Her employees hate her and her guards couldn't empty a pitcher with instructions on the bottom. Her business is doomed and the family is rich enough to relive the experience ten times over before noticing a dent in their fortune. This ought to be quick and easy, and I can't imagine the owner will even bother to bear a grudge. The vault itself is presently holding a shipment of low-quality gold bars and gems during midsummers. Although there's nothing fake about them, their production values are low, and as such they won't fetch the price I'd expect from the same weight of purer gold. I'm splitting hairs all the same, gold is gold, and gold stored in this shoddy bank is too good to pass up. I want to take at least the loose bars I can fit on my person, but there should be several crates of gold and boxes of gems. Taking the crates and bagging the gems will net me a fortune provided I can get them to a prearranged drop-off outside the bank. It'll be slow, back-breaking process, but worth it in the end provided I can do so without being disturbed. I got back into contact with my old fence just in case I'm working on old news. He's gone up a few rungs in the fencing business since last we talked. In addition to moving the loot, he's offered me information, maps, favors, and even paid side jobs for me to take on while I'm in there. He put me into contact with the resident cleaner as well. Any thief who wants to remain a free man will hire a cleaner to have the evidence disappear before the sun rises, and I'm no exception. His fees are high, but so is the payout in this vault. He'll charge me for every guard I rough up while inside, more or less depending on how much of a mess I make. Those who live will be paid off, and those who die will find their way to a watery grave. 
Killing from the shadows is easiest, but I prefer to keep my pockets heavy and my conscience light. The less trouble I cause, the larger the cut I'll get, and the better the helping hand I can afford for the next job. Well, that was a very long introduction, wasn't it? Now this you might find interesting. The difficulties are all the same. I don't know if this also pertains to the AI in it, but we'll go through medium and I'll show you why this is the case. We gotta break into the vault and get out, obviously, but there are also items for sale. And these ones that are zero gold are actually objectives. And then you can also get a key for the teller if you want to. You can buy an alternate loot drop point. And it looks like you have hints and you also have some more, you actually do have water arrows, but I think that's the only thing you can buy outright, and you still have to find them, because they're planted somewhere in the map. And then I can buy some maps as well. Maps do not help me much, because I like to look around before doing anything. However, I think there's some alarm information. That's only one gold anyway. Ultimate drop point. Hmm, that's five, but I don't know. Actually, if I'm not getting the maps, and I don't think I'm gonna worry about the... the water arrows, let's get the alternate drop point. Uh, hidden car and part, all the hints. We'll get all the hints, just so I can read all of them. And then the teller key. And make things a lot simpler. All that for ten gold? Sounds good to me. Alright, we made it in. Looks like we came right in the front door. Oh, no, oh, in a window. And uh, you can see right away that objectives are being added. I should probably put this out just in case there's some guards. So let's look at our objectives. Loot the vault, we had that before. Find the safe key and take the antique coins, that was added. Return Morley's key to his office drawer, that's one, so I must have a key on me. I think I'll use it first and then have to put it back. I'm not sure though. We'll leave through the front door when finished. Recover the withheld deposit. Find a way to soil the manager's reputation, and that's it. I don't know if I'll pick up any objectives along the way, but... Uh, first things first, let's get out of here. I'm sure this is the light switch. Yep, it's the light switch. Let's keep that off for the time being. Anything to read here? No, no. Okay. Well, let's get back in the dark and see if I have any notes. Oh, I also have a slow match. You don't normally see those in mods, or mods, in maps that have come out after, what, 2011? Note from the fence. Take the gold crates and other heavy loot up through the building and into the manager's bedroom. Really? That's my drop point? She's supposed to be away, but she was apparently seen at work yesterday, so be careful just in case. Anyway, I'll be waiting underneath their bedroom window with a cart full of cushions. Chuck me the boxes and bags and I'll load them up before riding the lot of it back home. Move the gold crates one at a time. They're heavy, and if you get caught with the lot, we get nothing. If you have to bail, and we've already secured some, we're in business. That sounds wonderful. What else you got for me? This is the teller note. Uh, the key that I have, the teller key, will open the lockboxes in the teller's office as well as the door to the rest of the building. It belongs to a guy called Morley. Oh, so after I get in, I can go ahead and drop it off right away. Morley's office is on the first floor. He's a good guy, so return the key before you go. Wooden desk in his room, top left drawer. Oh, I have to put it in a specific drawer, that's nice. If he takes a fall for you, you we're done professionally. That's... Deposit box hints. There are deposit boxes inside the vault. They are usually open from elsewhere in the building. Really. But you should be able to circumvent the system by cutting specific wires coming from the code entry device. The top middle... Ooh, this is nice information. The top middle, the bottom right, we are working to keep things locked. So cutting th those should allow you to open the boxes with the lever in the vault as if the code was entered... had already been entered by the manager. Make sure you don't cut any other wires that will lock you out or set off the alarm. That doesn't sound good at all. Secret. There's a secret passage somewhere. In the event of a considerable threat attacking the bank, the vault doubles as a panic room. Oh, really? The manager had a secret passage installed on the floor, one way and heavily reinforced. It's not a viable point of entry, but you can use it to move heavier loot out without with ease. Now that's good to know. The button to access it is embedded in the bottom left corner of the vault as you enter it, above the desk and disguised as part of the pillar. You'll have to get close to see it, but it's a simple 
button press mechanism that will open the panel on the floor. Man, there's a lot of notes. Hidden compartment. The manager recently had a secret compartment installed in her office in a response to a recent petty break-in. I'm not sure where, but it's frankly sm a small room. Look for buttons, false walls, movable books, all the usual cliches. A paranoid and unimaginative bank manager would turn to when hiding valuables. My money's on it being one of the paintings. Probably the least valuable looking one. Expensive frames are hard to mechanize. Before you go looking elsewhere, check the frames for buttons top to bottom. Oh, you mean like actual th Thief 4? I left a cart and a vent shaft inside the escape tunnel leading out of the vault. There's a button to open it up inside the vault somewhere, but it's supposedly well hidden, blended into the walls or something. I can't fit it into the shaft, so the cart is attached to a rope. Drop the gold crates. Oh, this is my alternate. This is much better. And any other heavy loot you pack up onto the cart instead of the window like we agreed. I'll pull it out once you leave and we'll split the lot back home. Is that it? Jesus! Alarm hint! Stepping inside the vault will set off the alarm. Be sure to turn it off in the generator room before you go to clear it out. When the alarm goes off, the room is filled with knockout gas and a team will probably come to pick you up. If you want to avoid walking up in a, waking up in a cell, find the shutoff lever and pull it. Okay, is that it? I'm so sorry. The safe is out front. Behind the teller stands, the key is kept upstairs in the manager's office, but you'll need to find a way inside for yourself. You know where to leave the coins, and you know how much the cut is, how much your cut is worth. Don't stiff me on this. Okay. Reputation. Jesus. Seems like some of, if not all, of the bank staff have turned on their manager. They know that she's having an affair, but they need proof to present to her husband and the court. They hired our services in the hopes that there's some damn... They've hired our services in the hopes that there's something damning hanging around in the premises. If you find something concrete, bring it back and we'll sell it to them for the agreed price. Is that it? Good God! Yeah. You know what? Okay. Oh, that's the last one. I might as well freaking read it. One of our newer clients has had his deposit kept from him by the bank for whatever make-believe reason they've come up with. They're holding it ransom for double the amount he stored with them. Get it back, and he'll pay that double money to get to you instead. Seems he'll go to any length to spite them. Okay, can I play the game now, please? All right. Let's uh make sure we go through the roped-off area here. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. Actually, I just wanted to check to see if there's anything in the... In the little cubby holes there, a little... Whatever you would call them, where you pass stuff through with the through and, and whatever. Alright. Let's see if I can remember how to lockpick. It's been a long time since I've played the dark mod. Hopefully I won't get caught after reading all that. At least it's a simple lock. Okay. Is that a good thing? So far, no guards. So I doubt I can pick this. Because they said there's a key upstairs. Yay! At least I don't have to read it. What was that? I heard something. Oh, God. Effective immediately, every employee must sign the logbook upon both starting and completing a shift. While I tend towards leniency, the recent frequency of fraudulent attendance reports has necessitated something more organized than word of mouth. Failure to attend allotted hours and subsequently sign the logbook will result in termination without appeal. I have records of your prospective signatures. It would be wise to direct the effort you put into conning me into earning me money instead. I keep hearing something. Uh, anyways, teller's key. Perfect. So, is there one on this side too? Since it's opening so slowly. Oh, it opens forward. That's kind of strange. Eh, give me the money, damn it. No, I want all the money. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. It's kind of awkward. Well, might as well close it, I guess. Ooh. Nice little hall. There we go. Okay, I can... That turns the light on. I'd rather turn the light off, but whatever. There's books back here. Should, I can't read them. Yeah, they really don't like working here. This place is a mess. Uh, might as well save. 
So the more people I knock out, the less of a cut I get. Hi. You're just gonna stand there? I mean, that's fine by me and everything. Oh, crap. Uh, honestly, I think knocking him out would probably be a good idea. Huh? Hi. How you doing? So, I think we'll do that. Come here. Let's put you in the teller's room and, uh... That way I can move back and forth in here fairly easily. Alright, um, I'm assuming this is the vault. I can't really go into the actual vault until I cut the alarm, though, so... Might as well unlock it for when I come back. Did I set off the alarm? Did I do a bad thing? Um. Oh, that's the actual vault. Okay. There's nobody in here, so I might as well look around. That's a big book. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's really nothing I can do in here yet, so... Cool, I guess. I guess it just flashes while it's open. Opening, so... What's this? Seriously, what is this huge-ass thing? You'd think it'd be a dumbwaiter, but it looks too big to be that. Oh! Keys. Did it just come towards me, or am I insane? For the sakes of both your jobs and your nicks, there will not be a repeat of the forgery incident. All employees are to leave their keys to the offices here upon leaving. All keys will be inspected. Copies are blatant, as are the marks left on the originals by the copying process. Any who have thought to follow Mr. Guile's example should first consult him up at the gallows, though he has been too talkative these past few days. Well, Jesus. Um, can I not? I can't take the keys. Why would it? Why? Why? It'd be so easy. There we go. What the hell? That was so hard to take. What? <laughs> Give me the key. Or is that just going to work on all the offices now? Because that'd be nice. Oh crap. I'm in the light. Uh oh. I hear somebody. Hello? Alright. Hello, anybody out there? Okay. Where are you? Where are you at, mon ami? Where are you? Damn it, I can't hear him. He's probably walking on the carpet. Oh, I hear him. Okay, I guess he's not coming this way. Alright, let's just close and move along. Move along. Let's search some offices, shall we? Ooh. Gold. Gems right on the table. And then payment of. Oh, so this is the guy's overdue payment. I guess putting that out doesn't really help me much, but I did it anyway. Next office! Uh oh. What was that? Nothing. Okay. How am I gonna do this? How are you doing, buddy? I'd rather not knock you out, but I might not have a choice. Thank you, I guess. How would I get to I mean I guess I can knock that over. Just like that. Um, you're not gonna be alerted by that at all? Okay. Let's try a little lower on the base of the candle. Well, shit. Okay. What? Shit. It's nothing, go away. All right, 
I know you're there. Come out. Well, damn. Well, Morley, I don't know if it's you or not. But yeah, you know what? I don't really have a loot goal, so I'm not going to steal from you. I'll just simply All put right, your do key back. Don't, don't, no, stop it. Stop, damn it. Who's over there? Nobody. Just sit back down. Tell her key. Alright, stop hiding back there and come out where I can see you. Nope, close up. Oh god. Collision. Dark mod. Not friends. What? Damn it, I didn't want to pick it up. I wanted to close it. Oh god. Why? 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 Uh, I guess it's just not gonna... Damn it! Well, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry. It was an accident. Who's that? Nobody. Well, damn. Alright, maybe Morley. Just take your key and shut up. There we go. Oh, now it completes it. Okay, whatever. It didn't do it before. I'm saving that shit. That was a lot harder than it should have been. Alright, anybody out here? Shit, there's somebody sitting right there. Okay. Well, he's looking right this way, so I guess I'll go this way. Uh oh. Damn this tools. Hello, I heard a door open. It's much worse. I'm going to have to get it pulled. Um. Okay. Whatever you say. What's that? Nothing. Shit. That was a guard. All right. I have no idea which which office this is. Let's just look around. Yes. You are so smart. Putting your gold in here. So smart. All right. <gasps> I don't think I opened is that. that something over there? No, it's not. It is definitely not nothing. It's it, no, it is nothing. I did shit. <coughs> uh, right in my face. Gazoon tight. Move along. Don't mind the book on the floor. No, don't walk in circles, please. That's right. Just leave. There's nothing here. Thank you. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna need to put this light out right here. I don't think I have a choice in the matter because of the guy sitting in the middle there. I only have three water arrows. Jeez. Hopefully nobody relights that. Well, let's finish up here before somebody does. Shall we? I better put this out in case he decides to come in here too. Do I need to do it? Oops. Well, oh, I'm throwing your bowl away. Wait, what was that? Oh, there's a ring underneath there. Is that all that's in here? Damn it. Did I see something? No, you didn't. You saw absolutely nothing. Someone's over there. Know that I'll find you. Eventually, I'm sure. But then I'll be gone, so it won't matter. Um, uh, and I'll run away if you catch me. So, get, move along. Shit. Now where would I hide if I were a thief? Why did you automatically go to a thief? Maybe I'm not a thief. Have you ever thought of that? Nothing moving. No, of course not. Oh, there's too much light here. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, it's poorly lit. Yeah, it's poorly lit, so just leave it. It's the best thing to do. I can't believe I'm trying to pick this right in front of this guy. Mm -hmm. Anything in there? Something. Shit. I can't tell if there's anything in there. Screw it. Not worth it. <laughs> I'm leaving it. Where? What? Huh? Um. Let's close that. 
Okay, you're going in there. That, that's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Okay. On the slight. Damn it. Thank you. Shit. What if he comes in here? I don't know if he comes in here. Oh, crap. Coming out of the room. Hi, buddy. How you doing? I think the one he just came out is my the last one I need to go into. At least here in the offices. Don't go back in. What are you? Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's try this one while I'm over here. I forgot about this one. Oh, I wonder what the whose room this is. Yeah, I wonder. Um, I should probably close this. Or close this. Just shut this off so I have a place to hide. Do you have shit under your... Wow, really? Okay, whatever. What is that? Um, okay. Manager's key and the safe key. Well, I've got the safe key now. Now why are, one of these isn't lit, and I do have a, a slow match. So, how do I forgot how I rotate you? How do I rotate you? Oh, there we go. Hopefully, this is the fiery side down. There we go. Okay, that didn't do anything. Wonderful. Um. Those are two gold paintings. If I'm to believe him... Ooh, gold statue. Then there should be a button on the frame somewhere? Oops, don't want to step on that. No, oh, click, click. Where? I don't know. Um. Oh, I don't know what I hit, but it worked. A gold bar all to herself. Okay. Eh. Can't get at a right angle. Shit. To get in there. There we go. Alright, what was that? Let's get out of the light before I read it. Just in case. Evidence of an affair. Is that the title of the letter or. Yes. There have been delays, but I'll be there soon. If I'm to leave any time in the next week, my husband must not know. Were he to find out about us, it would do my reputation no favors. Please, be patient, and please stop writing without letting me know first. Your last letter was almost picked up by him. I already told you that you need to be careful, Marley. Leaving evidence lying around the place will see us both stripped of either our property or our lives for adultery. Marley, really? Okay. That's interesting. Don't care. It still makes me money, so that's all that matters. Okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Or am I a moron and I don't know what I'm doing? So right there. That one's green. Oh, well, shit! Stuck. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay, that's nice to know.